Hi, John here, and I'm uh, continuing on the uh, the quest here to find uh, the best possible expired domains. And uh, this video is going to be about how to sort through the uh, the often confusing interfaces at the uh, auction websites in a tool that allows you to do that for free. Um, so I'm going to quickly show um, the GoDaddy auction interface, what I don't like about it, and, uh, and then we're going to head over to a, a tool that allows us to do the search and then look through the way that I would go about finding these expired domains through the auction site. So I'm logged into GoDaddy Auctions here. I'm going to hit Advanced Search and then I can pick out whatever I want. So uh, for this example I'm going to be using the example of trying to find uh, an expired domain that's relevant to a gourmet restaurant. So I'll select all extensions, I'll go for the main ones, and since I'm Canadian, I'll go for the .ca. Domain age, you don't care about, number of bids, don't care about, ending, um, that's fine to be longer. And that's really about it. That, and that's really all, the, the problem with the, the, this inner search interface is that this is really all the the options that we have so I hit run search and now I've got a amazing number of domains which you would think is good but I really have no way of sorting these that makes a lot of sense as to what uh, which ones are good which ones aren't is this worth it or not I got no idea um, you can kinda get a feel for it based on the number of bids that some of them have so there's one way of sort of sorting out a lot of the the bad stuff and trying to get into uh, the details of some of the better stuff based on what other people have already bid on but that's so this this is the bad way of doing it the ugly way and I mean GoDaddy's interfaces are bad to begin with and this one's I think uh, quite bad as far as the amount of information that you can get on these domains so the way to uh, to go about finding the best domains um, on these search sites is to go to expireddomains.net it's free, I have no affiliation with them and uh, then register, once you're registered click on other domains and then this pulls up all the details about every not every but most auction sites online and then they've also pulled in additional information that's going to help you um, make a decision as to whether or not you've got a good domain to go after or not so just click on any one of these, doesn't matter which one, hit show filter and here's where the power comes in. So domain contains, we're going to go with the gourmet, we want no fake PRs, minimum page rank 1, but I don't care much about page rank but we'll, we're not going to get into that here, minimum backlinks 1 and minimum site results 1. So page ranks is by being one is going to cut out a lot of the the page rank zeros or NAs, which alone isn't a big deal, but it sort of just helps um, separate the the we from the shaft here. So then we got the min backlinks being one and the min site results being one. So you don't want site results being zero. That's a, that's a big problem. It means it's the site is no longer indexed. Head over to additional filters, TLDs that we're going for. Max price, you can set a price if you'd like to. And then here's a great feature. So you can go minimum page authority 20 from Moz, apply filter, and that 195,000 domains went down to one. Over here, we got zero. Go and then we'll go to GoDaddy buy now. We've got a couple domains. Oh, yeah, we got a few domains here that we can look at. And so what this has done is it has found all the domains at any of these domain sites that have gourmet in their title. And this is a lot of domains that we can go and buy. I mean, my, some of the prices here are pretty outrageous. So we'll just have to keep sort of sorting through. Uh, it looks like GoDaddy had most of them. So we've got... Um, Gourmet Kitchen, a bit 25,000, so obviously that's uh, a pretty astronomical sum. 
And then there's a few here that look like they've got uh, some potential, specifically this one. So the way once you once you find a site that looks like it's got some potential, and the reason I, I think it has some potential is because it has a nicely balanced um, backlink profile, Google index pages, and some traffic is always a good sign. And the price isn't insane. So I just click here, go over to Majestic SEO with it, and then I get to look at the link metrics. So instantly we've got a site that from everything that I can see, there's no spam in the anchor text. It has uh, a 25 citation flow, which is kind of the popularity, 25 trust flow, which is how trustworthy the site is. We know it has above 20 page authority, and we know it's relevant. Now, the last check I would do is go in here, go to archive.org, enter the domain. And then you can have a look and see if the site was redirected or not in the, the last time it was uh, it was live. So it looks like it hasn't been live for a long time. So I think I want to see what was its last state on its previous host there in 2009. So was it redirected? And it looks like it was not. It, it looks like if you're in the gourmet food industry, this is a, a great domain to pick up. Cost is $280, so that's a little expensive. So you can find some cheaper ones um, via the auctions. So snap auctions. Or the GoDaddy, so there's none that are showing up. And then the closeouts usually have the cheapest options. So here's another one that's actually pretty good, well, right now at least. So you can look at Majestic SEO. I like to see both of these over 20, which they are. Over 30 is great, but so, wow. This is actually quite a good domain. Looks like the anchor text is all looking fairly legitimate. And then the last check is to drop it into archive.org. Uh, so it's been redirected. No, it's okay. It's, it's still being redirected to the same URL. But it, does that mean it doesn't have anything that goes back longer? So this one may have may have some problems with um, having been redirected. But let's look at some here, and then we can keep going through the the archive story and say, yeah, this. So this is a pretty legitimate looking site with a legitimate looking backlink profile and now I'm just walking through the site so that it looks like the site expired in 2012 and then it they just let it die so I would say it's it's uh, probably a pretty decent site to pick up so with eight minutes of searching and a fairly niche down topic of gourmet we found one domain for $280, one domain that's $10 plus the registration fee. So this domain would be $20 to buy. PR2 with a bunch of backlinks, clean backlink profile in the gourmet niche. So there you have it, a pretty fast way of going through these auctions. Uh, I haven't used the, uh, the auction system, and so I'm not the best guy to, to give advice on how to win, but uh, I can, I can suggest the ones here that are worth going after and uh, an easy way to sort through all the crap that there is at the, at the auction sites like can you imagine going through oh, a lot of pages <laughs> nine pages of this and searching each one individually to see what kind of quality you get out of them that would be a, a nightmare so uh, this is John from Authority Website Income and this is uh, another video as part of my expired domain guide. Hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to stop by and ask me any. Thanks. Bye.